Hey everyone, I know you guys are probably like seeing the, the length of this video and you're like, uh, dude, like what the hell are you doing and stuff like that. Hey guys, there's actually, uh, be sure to uh, get out like your pens and paper and write a bunch of this stuff down because I give out a lot of information on like how I lost, uh, lost a lot of weight and stuff like that and the, the reviews on the uh, BPI Sports uh, products. So like I said, there's a lot of information in this video, so be sure to get out your pens and paper and write this stuff down. All right. Later. Hey, <laughs> fuck. What's up? How's it going, guys? This is Orga Sexy, and uh. Jeez Louise, guys, I'm freaking, I'm not gonna lie, I am freaking exhausted. Um, today, I went to the gym, and I freaking, um, let me see, what all did I do today? I did, I, you guys, let me start from this. I know, like, uh, if you guys have been with me for some time, most likely you guys subscribe because of that epic 12-week transformation. And maybe see some previous, uh, videos that came right after that, or previous videos from this one, but... When I talk about how I did, uh, the way I did is I squat every day. I do, I did 300 push-ups and 25 miles of total cardio. And what people need to realize about 25 miles of total cardio is that literally everything. People will think like, dude, you run a marathon every single day because a marathon is 26.2 miles. No, guys, is that I, everything from walking to the gym to walking back to running on the bicycle at the gym. Like I said, if you're going fast enough, you could get about 10 miles on the bike in about 30 minutes if you're hauling ass. And between the elliptical and running and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And even um, the rowing machine, because the rowing machine uh, measures uh, your distance on meters, and 1600 meters is a mile, or 800 meters is half a mile. So I'll add up everything until I get at least 25 miles of total cardio. Today, I wasn't even able to get anywhere close. I did. The rowing machine, I didn't go on the bike today, I did the treadmill, the rowing machine, w between walking there and walking back in a weighted vest and weighted ankle weights, I got about 10 miles, not even half of what I used to do. So I basically, so I got around 10 miles of total cardio today, I did 300 push-ups, also did squats and deadlifts and chest today, and uh... Oh. That was it was brutal guys. I'm not gonna lie. It was hell. I was basically trying to Work out like I used to back when I was a uh, like I used to this wasn't even that long ago This back when I was a uh, I was basically trying to do my exact same type of workouts back when I was down to 190 and I have no idea where I'm at right now, but I'm definitely not 190. That's for sure I'm probably around maybe 215 to 20 like I said when you drop weight very very quickly. It's very easy to gain the weight back you just got to be careful and because i've effed up a bunch of times because i remember when i dropped from 325 to 220 in 12 weeks which was drastic as fuck uh that wasn't healthy at all i ended up gaining back 48 pounds again so when i did the epic 12 week transformation i was 268 34 percent and i lost it all got down to 195 percent like i know guys like People are still like talking shit about like you weren't five percent, yada yada yada. Guys, I know it doesn't look five percent. It's just what the guy said. When you drop weight very very quickly, you need to realize that you get deflated as fuck. So that, so I had a lot of loose skin on my body. So I was in a single digit body fat percentage with a lot of loose skin. So with all that, so I was lean and I looked fat at the same time. So all in all, I looked like I was around ten percent or so. But trust me guys, I was around 10%, eight, around nine weeks in. Because you guys, uh, I believe this picture right here, I was, what was it, March 13, 2016, I was 198, and I was around uh, eight to 10% in that picture right there. So uh, yeah, and I got leaner than that, so that's why it looked like I was around 10 or so percent right now I'm probably around 15 percent right now 
probably so I need to get back my my new goal is probably to get down to 183 or four percent that's my new new goal not any I know I don't really have like a time limit maybe by the end of the summer who knows maybe sometime in July or August I'll try to get down to 183 to four percent and uh yeah it's gonna look man I just it's gonna look pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna try. I'm not trying to be cocky. But anyway, that's beside the point. I've been talking. God damn it! I ramble on so much. Anyway, guys, like I said, worked worked out a bunch today. So I'm gonna do show you a little sexy video on how to post workout. Um, I know uh, a while back, you guys, um, uh, you know that BPI Sports sent me like a box of uh, free free sample supplements. Everything from uh. The pre-workout one more rep vortex to uh way hd and best bcaas bcaas you have to say it slowly to say it right but um here i'm going to show you i got two more free sample packs of uh bpi sports best brands channel amino acids so like i said in that video if you've seen that that each each packet has about five grams of brands channel amino acids and all has also has cla and ag Agmentine, Agmentine, A G M A T I N E, which I, I'm still not entirely sure, but the CLA matrix is really cool. Each packet has one gram each, which is another thing people uh, that don't know is that CLA was one of the main supplements I took during that epic 12 week transformation. It really helped out a lot while maintaining as much muscle as possible and dropping nothing but pure body fat as energy. So, CLA, great ingredient. So I'm going to take 10 grams. I got my trusty little scissors right here. Actually, let me get this stuff up. Got a little 68 ounce shaker cup with a little bit of ice. Also, adding in a little bit of ice makes it e a lot easier to uh, blend up and shake up the uh, ingredients. Like if you're taking like a, a protein, branch chain amino acids or a pre-workout uh, ice makes it a lot easier for it to shake it up and also it tastes better because it's nothing worse than getting like piss warm uh, water putting in your shake, shaker cup and then your branch channel, amino, branch channel amino acids taste like piss because it's so damn warm so the ice cools it up obviously anyway make sure that all that stuff is down at the bottom I want to try to get every single freaking here I'll probably just do one at a time just to make sure I get every oh god please don't spill okay uh, here, here goes one packet. These are fruit punch flavors, I believe. Yeah, both of these are fruit punch punch flavor. Okay, get the fuck out of the way. And also, uh, so we're, while we're on the topic about CLA, um, it's also really great for post-workout because it helps you recover as well, which is good for you. Uh, that was a good idea of BPI Sports for actually putting CLA into brands channel amino acids as a post-workout ingredient. So... If it had like L-carnitine, I'm not sure if this has L-carnitine, but if it had CLA and L-carnitine into 5 grams of branched chain amino acids, and these are obviously, um, what's it called, uh, micronized for better absorption. So here, that's one packet right here. Here goes the second packet. So I'm getting a total of about 2 grams of CLA and 10 grams of branched chain amino acids. I just... Uh, snort up the rest of that shit. Ah! No, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> oh god. Mmm, man, that. Mmm, man, that tastes good. Smells good. Tastes good. It's weird. I snorted it and I could taste it at the same time. Kind of weird. Anyway, so here we go. And also, guys, I haven't eaten anything all day, so this is gonna be a great way to break my fast. Which, if, oh, god, there's gonna be so much in this video. While we're on the topic, one of the one of the other reasons I. I was able to drop weight very, very quickly between my amazing 12 week transformation and how I came from 325 to 220 and the epic one. Wait, did I say amazing? The amazing one and then the epic one from 268, 268, 34% down to 195% was intermittent fasting, guys. Please, for the love of God, I have no time, maybe for another video, but do your research on intermittent fasting. Like, I'll probably leave like a like a little uh, captions right here on how to spell it just google it do your research on it maybe you guys have heard of it so i know a lot of you guys know that in the b oh, not b i was about to say bpi sports world but in the bodybuilding world people do six small meals a day i used to do it but i fucking hated it every eating every two to three hours i 
I actually rather just to get all your calories post-workout into a small eating window it makes it a lot easier and like I said for another video but like I said how many times I'm gonna say like I said but um like I said uh, <laughs> this is gonna be the first thing I, I, I eat all day but brands channel amino acids doesn't have any calories but it's still spiking your insulin and then right after this I'm gonna have my protein so here we go there we go, that should be good enough. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, fruit punch flavor smells so good. It's really hard to screw up fruit punch. That's like the average, that's like your typical uh, flavor when it comes to like, especially pre-workouts, fruit punch flavor is usually the norm, the normal, normal flavor. Anyway, shake that shit up really good. Uh, maybe other hand. Uh, I usually do 10 seconds per hand or 10, 10, and then shake it up really good. Uh, anyway, that's good enough. Uh, mm. Come on, ice. Get the hell out of the way. I hate when you put ice like in your pre-workout or something in your supplements and the ice starts blocking up the uh, exit. So it's like, it's like I'm not getting anything. Get the fuck out of the way, ice. Mm. 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 Freaking piece of ice just went to the back of my throat. Almost died. Mm. Gosh, that is so good. This tastes amazing. So guys, um, right after this, I'm going to do uh, Whey HD. It really doesn't matter. It probably ain't that serious about which one you do first. You could do protein immediately after a workout and then BCAs later. Or you could do what I do, take BCAs first and then your protein. All in all, it really doesn't matter. Protein obviously has naturally occurring brands chain amino acids 25 grams of protein for whey HD here I might as well Because I keep pointing to the left so you guys know what I'm talking about One scoop 25 grams of protein 5 grams of naturally occurring brands chain amino acids, and I'm gonna show you what I do. So let me just finish this stuff off mm. 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 There we go. And guys, I know a lot of people, this is a bad idea. And to be honest, it probably isn't that serious, but um, usually when you get to this part when it's just nothing but foam left, the people will like rinse it out. And it's like, all right, like I just drank it all. There's nothing left, there's nothing but foam. Let me just rinse it out and just get rid of the rest. Guys, I actually, it, like I said, it probably ain't that serious. It's probably only like a little bit of brand skin amino acids left, a little bit of CLA and a little bit of everything else. But even after you drink the rest, fill it up again, and then just drink the rest, you know? So even that little bit of foam, there's still a little bit of amino acids left in it. Like I said, like it ain't that big of a deal. It's not like if you rinse it out after you're done with it, it's like you're losing like all your gains. You're like, you're not getting the full 100% potential. But if you end up drinking 99%, there's like 1% left, if you know what I mean. Anyway. Fill this up with water and we're gonna move on to Way HD. So give me a second. Hey guys, welcome back. Like I said, see, like I, I just filled up the, I've been sipping on this, but you see how there's still a little bit left. So what I'm gonna do is just, here, what you gonna do, this is gonna probably be very controversial. Some people are gonna be pissed at me for doing this, but um, this entire thing right here has five servings. So a total of 125 grams of protein. I took one scoop of this, like maybe a week or two ago, but I've only had one scoop because I've been saving the rest for this video. So there's about four scoops left or 100 grams of protein left in this thing. So this is what I'm going to do. Like I don't recommend this unless you um, get like these five serving tubs. But if you get like, if you, get, <laughs> I could probably just tell you right now. So we don't need this shit. What I'm going to do is just get the rest of this nice ice cold water. You, you guys can use milk. I really don't recommend juice. I've actually tried juice with protein before. And to be honest, it wasn't that bad. It ended up tasting like a like a Tootsie Pop. You guys know like a 
a Tootsie Pop, maybe like a cherry flavor. And once you get into the, the center, you got that, that chocolate Tootsie Roll. That's what ended up happening when I mixed like, like fruit punch, like fruit punch juice with like chocolate protein powder. It ended up tasting like a juicy, uh, like a Tootsie Pops, which yeah, actually I like Tootsie Pops. So it tastes pretty good. Anyway, that's beside the point. So like I said, you guys can use milk. I'm using water in this case, so it really doesn't matter. So 100 grams of protein. I'm gonna just do this, pour that in there. Uh, oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, it's a freaking red. <laughs> but it was just a leftover residue from the branch chain amino acids, so it's gonna still taste like water anyway. You know, it's just just the color's a little bit different. Got a spoon right here. Just go scoop all that crap up. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, hope you guys can see that. Just kind of blend it up really good. And I'm gonna eat this shit like freaking pudding, guys. This shit's gonna be really good. Like I said, some people are going to probably be pissed at me, calling me like a fucking idiot and whatever. But like I said before, if you guys if you guys get like way HD and you get like the 50 pound tub, I don't recommend pouring like a gallon of water into like your 50 pound tub and then eating that, you know, post-workout unless you're freaking Furious P. He actually did something like that before. He got like not, it was an entire tub of like peanut butter. I'm trying to remember, it was years ago the last time I saw this video. But Furious, oh dude, that's starting to blend up really good. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, yep. Anyway, so try to get all that leftover residue powder, you know. So, um, what was I saying? Yeah, freaking Furious Pete got like a bodybuilding.com's uh, peanut butter flavor protein. <laughs> and he ate 900 grams worth of protein. And he just used water to mix it up and he just ate 900 grams of protein just straight, you know. <laughs> God, I wonder how his body reacted to after that shit. Probably was crapping for days, who knows. Maybe he was constipated for weeks, there's no telling what happened. But, like I said, uh, 100 grams of protein right here. And, uh, what was I going to say? When I'm on this topic about taking 100 grams of protein post-workout, some people believe, still to this day, that... Oh, your body can only digest a certain amount of protein at a time. Your body can only digest 25 to 30 grams of protein max at a time or some shit like that. Uh, guys, that's actually a myth. Uh, people just believe that because, in the like I said before, in the bodybuilding world, people would eat 6, 8, 10, whatever small meals throughout the entire day. And, um, because they think, like, your body only can digest a certain amount of protein at a time. Guys, that's actually a myth, which is why people, including myself, uh, does uh, intermittent fasting. Um, the only way your body won't get the most out of your protein is, like, for example, if you don't work out. And let's say you woke up in the morning and you haven't worked out in weeks or maybe never in your entire life. It's like, ooh, I'm going to eat 100 grams of protein so I could build muscle even though I haven't been doing anything, doing anything all day. Exactly. At that point, your body won't fully absorb the protein. It will just crap the rest of it out. But after a hard workout, 100 grams of protein and uh, uh, so 5, 10, 20 grams of naturally occurring branched chain amino acids plus the 10 grams of BCAA. So I'm getting a total of 30 grams of uh, branched chain amino acids. And that's another thing you guys can do. Some people measure their... Uh, some people measure their, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, their daily requirement of protein by, let's say, like one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Another thing you could do, you could add, instead of, like, for example, if you weigh 200 pounds and you're trying to shoot for 200 grams of protein a day, what else you could do, instead of like counting up uh, protein, count on up how much uh, branched chain amino acids you're getting through the day. So instead of 200 grams of protein, you can shoot for 50 grams of branched chain amino acids uh, a day. So, so that's another thing you could do. Anyway, beside the point, let me see how this stuff tastes. Uh, like I said, it's freaking a uh, vanilla caramel. That's what I said in the last video. So, oh, that pudding. Mmm. <laughs> um. Mmm, guys, that is really good. Oh my gosh. I'm a freaking genius. People are probably looking at me like I'm some fucking idiot, but this is actually a really good idea. Instead of making like a shake, making some pudding. Mm. 
this would oh my god this stuff would taste amazing if you're like going on like on a bulk and you put like whole milk in this that would taste really good but even with the water it still tastes really freaking good um mm. so anyway man that stuff tastes really freaking good so that's like the perfect way to actually have your post-workout meal you can have 10 grams of brand's chain amino acids and then 100 grams of proteins and you're getting about 30 grams of brand's chain amino acids post-workout uh more or less so gosh so that's another thing uh when i was mentioning before about um Instead of counting up your protein, count up your how much uh, BCAAs you're gaining throughout the day. So if if 25 grams of protein equals about five grams of naturally occurring branched chain amino acids, so so oh god, if you were to get 50 branched chain amino acids, that's equivalent to how much grams of protein? 50 times five, so about 250 grams of protein equals about 50 grams of branched chain amino acids. More or less, it really depends on the quality of the protein because all not all proteins create equal. Whey protein, casein protein has a very high, what's the wor uh, word I'm looking for? It's very naturally occurring high in branched chain amino acids. But if you were to do something like, a, uh, which I feel bad for vegans because they get their protein from just vegetables like uh, soybeans and it's a very low quality protein I don't want to get like a lot of hay but that's just my opinion but maybe one day uh, I think a vegan diet would actually be perfect if you're going on a cut but if you were to go on a bulk it's really hard to get your protein in but I'm gonna probably get some hay from fucking vegan vegan games or some shit some shit like that Mr. Sexy worst of the fitness industry yeah he's probably right anyway but anyway guys so I'm gonna do a quick little review. Even on a one more rep vortex, do I have it with me? Shit, no, I don't. It's in my room. Anyway, I've been taking uh, one more rep vortex for a while, guys. That stuff is actually really freaking good. Um, they said like um, don't get no more than two scoops per day, even though the scoops are only that big. Um, really small, like each scoops three grams. Uh, I got up to three scoops with that stuff because I'm I'm a big guy. I have a very high tolerance to even though I haven't taken a pre-workout in a while, but three grams per scoop, and it's not a whole lot of ingredients in it. I got up to three scoops with that stuff. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, like I said, that little that little tub of one more red vortex is 50 servings, and I'm almost out. But um, anyway, it's a great pre-workout. I love it. I love how you could be, basically one thing I I did was taking putting like one scoop of one more red vortex into this. And then getting like a scoop like this and just ah one scoop and then drink it down with another scoop you know what i mean so you're still getting two scoops of one more red vortex but just ah and then drink it down you know and it like hits you instantly you know instead of waiting 20 like 15 to 20 minutes to actually let it digest and stuff like that that actually like hits, hits you instantly so one more red vortex highly recommend it you guys could get it at like walmart and uh walgreens and cvs i see it everywhere and uh way hd very really is really really good 25 grams of protein and they even added in freaking glycerol monasterate so you could take it pre and post glycerol is that stuff that's in one more red vortex that increases uh better blood flow and better pumps and also it also uh, helps your body uh uh, absorb and uptake the nutrients a lot better so that's actually very important to have in a protein if your body is not absorbing the protein then what's the point of taking it you know what I mean so that's really cool that they actually added into that and brand chain amino acids also really amazing I actually want to get a full on tub a full t full on tub a full tub of uh, branch uh, best branch chain amino acids because of the CLA and the stuff they put in it so if you were to take about four servings because the way to get the most out of a uh, CLA is to take about four to six grams. It, it's so weird how the number adds up. It's, it's at least 3.4 grams of CLA to get the most out of it. So you're maintaining as much muscle as possible. It's boosting your metabolic rate. It's boosting your metabolism and it's helping your body burn body fat as energy. So it's like L-carnitine in a way. So anyway, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I still need to finish this stuff off. So that was a great way to have post-workout, especially after a workout I had today. 
so anyway guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video so like this video if you want to see more subscribe if you haven't already until next time i'm already sexy and you stay sexy my friends take it easy